Hello and welcome. Today we are visiting Zandam. Zandam is a city in the province of North Holland. It is the main city of the municipality of Zandstad. Arriving in Zandam by train lets us enter the city like this. Hmm, left or right? The left hand would look more interesting, but let me show you what's on the right side and what you would miss. Here you can see the head office of Albert Hein. The office building was designed by the TT Design with a floor area of 40,000 square meters and around 1,200 people work here. In addition to the Albert Hein, the director of Gall and Gall and Ethos are also located here. In this area of Sandam, everything is geared towards change and redevelopment. But back to the train station and let's walk into the city. First stop is the Town Hall Zahnstadt. As part of the master plan in Verdam, Zutes van Eldonk Architects designed a new town hall for Zahnstadt. Constructions began in 2011 on the site where the bus station was previously located. And on January 25th in 2012, the new town hall of Zahnstadt was officially opened. A new bus station had to be built and about 8 meters above it is now the main entrance of the city hall. The long side of the town hall with offices is elevated between the railway and the motorway above the bus station. The town hall is a succession of a number of large Zahn houses, in which the typical Zahn architecture can be recognized by the typical facades with many shades of green and white. The town hall, which costed 45 million euro, can accommodate about 800 civilian servants. The design matches perfectly with the Gedempte Gracht, a street and channel in Zandam, with shopping streets on both sides and bridges crossing the channel. Next to the town hall we find the Intel Hotel. It opened in 2010 and it is a striking building. The outside consists entirely of an accumulation of almost 70 separate Sansa houses, executed in four colors of Sansa green. The building was designed by Wilfried van Winden. This building replaced an early hotel in Zandam, owned by the same operator, which opened in 1986 and was demolished in 2010. The new hotel opened 2010. The hotel was also built as a part of the Inverdan project, which started in 2003. The aim of the project is to restructure the Zahn city center. As with the Intel Hotel, the traditional Zahn architecture is also reflected in other Inverdan buildings. The Wamblo house represents Monet's house. In 1871, he painted La Maison Bleue which shows a blue Zahn house. In 1811, Zandam received city rights. Zandam is located on the river Zahn and just north of Amsterdam. Zandam was a separate municipality until 1974, when it became a part of the new municipality of Zahnstadt. The history of Zandam, formerly called Zahndam, and the surrounding Zahn River region is intimately tied to industry. In the Dutch Golden Age, Zandam served as a large milling center. Thousands of windmills powered saws that processed Scandinavian wood for the shipbuilding and paper industry. Zandam was a leading city in the first industrial revolution, but then began a steady decline. In 1697, Tsar Peter of Russia spent some time in Zandam, where he studied shipbuilding. He stayed in a little wooden house built in 1632, but was soon forced to leave because he attracted too much attention from the local population. He moved to Amsterdam, where he studied at one of the wharves of the Dutch East Indy Company. The wooden house he stayed was preserved and turned into a museum. The Zapita House is a historical building in Zandam. It is best known as the place where Zar Peter resided 1697 during his Grand Embassy. Although he remained at the house only a short time, 
he would return a number of times, the last in 1707. In 1895, a new stone cover was built over the house to protect it. This was done by the architect Salm, best known for designing the Artist Aquarium in Amsterdam. The cover was added to the list of national monuments in 2001, meaning that the Tsar Peter House is actually on the list twice, once for the original building and once for the renovation. A statue honoring him was placed on the nearby Dam Square in 1911 and was declared a Rijksmonument. In 1871, the impressionist painter Claude Monet lived in Zandam for approximately half a year. During that time, he made 25 paintings for the area, including Houses on the Artisan. We also had a look at the Hans Bosjeslaus. It is a lock with pointed doors in the Hoche or Zandam between the Vorsaan and the Achtersaan or Binnensaan. The Hans Bosjeslaus is mainly used for securing pleasure boats. The passage during the sailing season is free, but ships are thrown a clock in which the skipper can make a contribution towards the cost of the voluntary service. Right next to it is the East Side Church. Originally, the Ostside Kerk went through life as a Catholic chapel dedicated to St. Mary Magdalena, under the wings of the parish church of Ostsan. It is estimated that the chapel was built in the second half of the 14th century. There is no certainty about this. The first written record dates from 1411. The dilapidated chapel clearly built as a refuge for a water wolf on a large mound adjacent to the dam in the Zahn is already too small in 1449 because of the increasing numbers of believers, after which it is decided to enlarge the chapel. In 1460 the chapel is rededicated, shortly afterwards a tower is placed on the roof. The Osteikerk in the Zahn Dam is the oldest church in the city. And with this we close our little trip to Zandam. I hope you enjoyed what we showed you. Please leave a like and subscribe. Till next time.